Let's move on to the ACAC, where they are also opening conference play this week. Adam Central out of conference. They're at LaPel, which is 2-0. That is actually quite a good game if you uh, follow football around the state. Bluffton's at South Adams, which I think will be interesting. Heritage is at Woodland. Southern Wells at Jay County. We'll talk about it in generalities, but that Bluffton-South Adams game, we saw a lot from South Adams last week, kind of bending and not breaking and holding on to a 2017 win over Belmont in a game uh, that was at Bob Worthman Stadium. Yeah, Nick Stuber and James Arnold playing that little musical chairs at the quarterback position, and they hooked up for a touchdown a week ago. So that South Adams team, I think, if you look through the first two weeks, are the solid number two team mm. in the in, in the ACAC right now behind mm -hmm. Adams Central. So uh, Bluffton, upstart Bluffton, of course, getting a couple wins. If they can go to South Adams and be competitive at the very least, I think that says a lot about what Brent Kunkel is doing there. Yeah, and Lockwood, Brandon Lockwood, who had a ton of yards last year, graduated but it looks like they've they found themselves Everett Johnson, who's put up you know back to back hundred yard games. It looks like they have things rolling, no problem. Yeah, and and I think that that's going to be a big part of the the game plan on for Bluffton on Friday is keep the ball on the ground because South Adams has proven that they can go to the air with either quarterback and score. Heritage Woodland, how concerned are you at this point that Woodland hasn't scored a touchdown this season? I would be very concerned. They've played two good teams in Leo and the team out of Ohio, as a Marion local, I believe, mm -hmm. out of yep. Ohio. Uh, being 0-2 is one thing against those two teams. Not scoring a point in those two games is even more concerning. So Woodland, we knew they were going to take a step back. We've talked about it ad nauseum. But now we're looking at it and going, man, they've really – taking a step back, particularly on that side of the football. Is this a week where they can maybe get things right? How, and how do they go about doing that? Uh, I think they just have to get that back down to basics and run the football, play good defense. But, I mean, would you be surprised if Heritage went in there and, and hung around? I mean, yeah, kind of. Would you? I mean, <laughs> I would be, point, but I, I love Nico Tagulis, but. I mean, at this point, I'm trying to figure it's, 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 I don't, I can't remember in recent memory where we sat here week three and looked across all the three major conferences and said, I really don't know what to think right now. I mean, I, it's, it's fascinating because usually by this time we can go, all right, this team's going 9-0 or 8-0 or 7-0. It's going to be it. But I don't think we can say that right now. Yeah, and you could normally pick, a, at this point, pick out, here are a handful of teams that can make a run at Lucas Oil Stadium. I don't, I don't know that you can do that right now. I mean, yeah. I, in 4A, Angola's got to get by Northwood. I mean, everybody's got to get by. Wenger's got to get by Northwood. Yeah, everybody's got to get by Northwood in 4A. You know, 3A, is it a Concordia? Is it a Lures? You know, mm -hmm. Adam Central, South Adams, one of those two always seems to make a run. I mean, 2A was Woodland. I mean, I don't think you can say that this year. So, I don't know. Maybe Adam Central.